everyone, Leslie Chadwell here. Thought I'd make a little video of what I decided to do this morning with some of the horses. We are having a little bit of a snow morning this morning, nothing too bad. Um, but what I decided I might do is give the horses, or their feet anyway, a little bit of an extra treatment. And what I opted to do um, is I have Diana here with me, and I opted to start with her. Um, and you can see I've, I've applied some of the oil already here to her bulbs. Um, down into the frog and along the hollows here and let it drip right down. You can see it there. Um, the oil that I chose to use was oregano, Young Living's oregano oil. Dee's being very good, letting her foot rest in the half jack there. So um, Young Living's oregano oil, um, it's one of the oils that we use in the raindrop therapy. It's a great oil. It's great. Um, I call it an anti-oil. <laughs> there's anything you need to fight, um, oregano is a great one to have. It's a, it's a hot oil, so it does a lot of stimulating. Um, and for her, I use some more on her heels here, or on the bulbs of her heels, to stimulate the coronet band to, to grow out, because we are trying to stimulate her heel growth. Um, she's never been one to necessarily have a whole lot of heel. Um, and as you can see, um, she's doing quite well with that growth. Um, so it's a great way to um, combat thrush if you have it or prevent it. Um, she was actually quite dry in, she goes a little bit deeper here on this side than she does this side, and so I kind of go in and kind of dig out with the hoof pick a little bit. Um, but nothing, you know, nothing too bad. Um, but I do want to make sure that if there's something that I can't get out, that I can get something in there that will fight any um, thing that might be brewing. Because uh, I certainly don't want to come into spring and find out all of a sudden that she's got, you know, an issue. Um, and what it also does is it toughens up the foot. Um, I don't know if that's a kind of a written thing, but that's what I've found. Um, it's worked really well for me. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure that I pass this along to you. Um, how many drops did I use? Uh, I used probably a drop on each bulb of the heel, right here, right here, and here, and then kind of rubbed it in like this. Good girl, Dee. She says that would be enough. <laughs> and let me see if I can replace her hair. There you go. And then took the bottle and just let a couple drops run down the center of the frog here. And then along the the crevices here and to do the crevices what you really want to do is hold the hoof kind of as flat upright as you can it's kind of not a very good picture but hold it upright so that when the drops go they don't just run down that they actually run into the crevices um, and I think that should cover it for today I hope this was helpful and take care bye bye